You decided, and Philadelphia has a new mayor, Democrat Sherelle Parker, projected as the 100th mayor of Philadelphia, defeating Republican challenger David O. She now becomes the first woman and the first black woman to lead the city. Good evening, everyone. I'm Sheba Russell. The polls have been closed for a few hours, this election proving to be a historic one in Philadelphia. Let's get to the results here. Parker with an overwhelming majority of the vote, the former state rep and council member had been favored to win and she did just that. We've got you covered at both candidates headquarters. We begin tonight with Jeff Cole live in South Philly where the mayor elect delivered her victory speech just a short time ago. An emotional one at that, Jeff. Oh, absolutely. Listen, I think we can say one thing that we know for sure, that there will certainly be a different vibe coming out of City Hall once Sherelle Parker takes office than what we've seen in the past administration. Not just emotional, but many religious references and hearkening back, in fact, to her childhood here. As you say, Sherelle Parker makes history tonight being elected at C-100's mayor, the first black female to reach that position. Let's take a look at some pictures. Sherelle Parker was led on stage this evening by Langston, her son and his friends. Sherelle Parker recounted her childhood, growing up, being raised by her grandparents, surviving on public assistance, eating from the block of cheese provided by the federal government that she says made great macaroni and cheese, riding a big advantage of Democratic registration to victory. Parker spoke of improving city schools and suggesting that she would hire a police commissioner with cultural competence. She has spoken about using the legal forum of stop and frisk to battle crime. Let's hear what she said about that. We're going to make sure that we put people on the path to self-sufficiency. You heard me talk about making our public health and safety our number one priority. Listen. I don't apologize about that. We are going to use every legal tool that is in the tool book to make this city safe. Now listen, you've got to know this. As we work in a collaborative way, collaborative way, you all heard me, I used the term so much, the press started making fun of me every time I said intergovernmental cooperation, I said it so much. Local, state, federal government any agency that can add value in helping us make public health and safety the number one priority. said so those are the kinds of issues that Sherelle Parker has spoken about certainly public safety and crime the most important issue both in what was a very competitive primary that she emerged from and then of course winning the general election over David O. Important to point out here that when Sherelle Parker was a member of the State House she was arrested on a DUI. She spoke about that tonight not an issue she raised a lot in the campaign but she did do it tonight. She also spoke about the women that she has she said that uh, risen on their shoulders to reach this uh, this uh, great post that she's now gotten. She will have to decide whether the Sixers get an arena in the city and, of course, battle gun violence. Live here at the Union Hall, Jeff Cole, Fox 29 News. Fox. Tremendous job out there, Jeff, trying to speak over Rob Bass. It takes two. Only the professional journalist that you are bringing us up to date on tonight's election. Appreciate you.